Yo, welcome to Golden State Boulevard. I'll be your host for Wednesday. So uh, this is our reboot. Uh, to the new hands, welcome. New to the old hands, welcome back. And we're hoping for a really good run again. So, ha ha. Um, if you are new to the channel, just to briefly introduce myself, I'm Ren, and I'm 20 years old, and I'm currently a student at the University of Freiburg in Freiburg, Germany, but I'll be moving back to Michigan in mid-August to finish my bachelor's degree in English and German at the University of Michigan. I have had uh, videos that have filmed there in the past, and so if you're curious about how the climate with regards to LGBT issues is at University of Michigan or at Uni Freiburg, please just feel free to ask and I can talk to you specifically about that. Um, I don't identify as um, FTM transgender like some of the other guys on this channel do, uh, which influences a lot of my opinions about certain topics that we touch upon. I identify as gender non-conforming, leaning towards bigenderism. And I have loads of videos about that on my personal channel, as well as videos that touch on that on this channel, so you feel free to check those out as well. Uh, specifically to discuss HRT, so hormone replacement therapy, I personally have no interest in pursuing that. Um, my dysphoria doesn't lie in anything that HRT would really fix. My dysphoria lies strictly, pretty much strictly, with my chest. I have bad days for other things, but nothing significant enough for me to want to commit to something as serious as um, hormones. And that's really kind of what I wanted to touch upon in this, more so than anything else, is the importance of knowing yourself and making an informed decision. And what I mean by that is, look into these things, talk to doctors, Google it, if you know, even though that gets made fun of by doctors all the time, oh you're well informed aren't you, Google it. No, I mean, it, it does really behoove you to be as informed as possible when going into a situation and into a, a commitment that's going to be pretty permanent. Um, I am personally right now looking into top surgery. My parents have agreed to spring for that for me when I graduate uni in two years, which is really, really awesome of them. And um, I can't really wish for anything better with regards to their feelings in this matter. Uh, than that. But again, you know, whether it's surgery, whether it's drugs, be informed and take the time and the extra money that will result in a better end product. You ultimately want to be able to look in the mirror and be happy with what you see. And if you kind of half-ass it with regards to researching um, different surgeons or different drugs and, uh, and then you didn't put as much money into it as you might have been able to had you done more research, you might not be happy with what the end with the end result, and that's just not necessary. Just be patient and really look into it because you are building the new you. And you know, you want to do that with care and precision. And yes, it might cost more, especially in the states where things like that aren't often covered by insurance, but Ultimately, it's going to be worth it because you're going to be really happy. And also, this is an investment into the most important commodity you've got, which is yourself. So you should really put as much care into it as you possibly can. And I can't really give you any better advice than that. Um, with regards to names, uh, Ren is a shortening of the longer name Serenity. And I used to go by Austin, some of you might know me by that, but I decided that that wasn't really what I wanted to stick with because I realized that the name Serenity was still a really big part of who I was and I didn't really like juggling names like that it just seemed at least to me it seemed unnecessary and tedious and I just I wasn't a fan and Ren I like just fine it's gender neutral it's um I like the way it looks as silly as that sounds um all of my mates call me that my parents call me that unless I'm in trouble in which case it's Serenity you know full name kind of a thing um, and also I had, I've had bosses that call me that and teachers and things of that nature and I didn't really have too much trouble with that. I just went to them after class or work or something or during an interview and just said like, hey, you know, uh, would it be fine on my name tag or whatever to have Ren instead of Serenity? Um, and for the most part nobody really had a problem with that. I had one teacher in high school who was just like, no, I will not do that. That is not your legal name. 
But other than that, I didn't have any problems. So really just it's a matter of trial and error, like how you ask and who you ask and things like that. But I have full confidence that most people would be okay with that, unless you're working somewhere very, very conservative. Um, yeah. And again, with choosing a name, you know, it's a thing of trial and error. You pick one you think you like, and then you realize, oh, actually, this is just a name I like, but not necessarily for me. And um, just understand it's a process, and um, if anybody tries to give you any anything about that, then just say, hey, yo, it's not your problem, it's my, it's my name. And if you don't like it, that's nothing to do with me. Like, congratulations, you probably won't name your children that, or you won't name yourself that, but I choose this for these reasons, or, and if that's not good enough for you, then, well, I guess we weren't really friends to begin with if you can't support me in this. Yeah, those are just sort of my two cents on the several topics of the weeks that I missed. Sorry about that. I will try to be more uh, timely when it comes to uploading and things like that in the future. And until I see you guys next week, stay happy, stay safe, and take care. Peace out. <laughs>